Hi, today we're going to be um, doing our first DIY on our vlog. We have done a lot of DIYs before, especially in our previous house. Uh, we what we basically renovated um, the whole house before we sold it. So that was a lot of DIY, but that was pre our vlog. So um, this will be our official first DIY for our channel. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be plastic dipping um, our camper. Plastic dip. So we looked at a bunch of different options, whether we were gonna vinyl wrap it, liquid wrap it, and we looked at all the costs and everything, but we decided, why don't we just plasti dip ourselves? We plasti dip like smaller stuff, like wheels and bikes and things like that previously, and they worked out pretty well. So we're gonna try it on our whole camper. Um, we wanna do it white to match our two vehicles that we have we have the forerunner um venture and then we have jeep wrangler altitude so first we're gonna start blue taping off all the areas that we don't want to be painted like the rack the light the door just everything that we don't want it to be white probably cover the whole top because the top is actually all black so we'll just leave that as is. So we're gonna be doing the two, two sides and the trunk. And he is right now wiping it all down really clean. That way we don't have any bumps and any like little dirt underneath. So let's get to work. So there's a couple things that he wants to do before we actually start taping it off. So. Oh yeah, you can remove everything that could come off so that way you don't have to tape it it saves time like we have a spare tire so i'm going to take it off instead of taping it all up and i lowered the jacks down so the poles aren't blocking the skin that way this it just eliminates work uh, oh we're taking them off yeah so there's like a few things that would be good to just take off beforehand so just check out whatever you're planning to plastic them and take off everything you can. See, we're gonna remove the spare tire that way we don't have to tape over it. And there's aluminum behind it, so. So the painting supplies are Plasti Dip, spray paint. There's actually like Plasti Dip um, sets that you can buy that comes with like a spray gun and everything like that, but we just decided to do with the simple spray can. And then we got some like um, roll of paper that we need if we need to cover more area, some blue tape and maybe some cardboard that we have laying around. You want video taping? Mm -hmm. Ta -da! So when you're taping like long areas, you may want to do with like one long strip of tape, but actually it's, a little, it's easier to do shorter strips for you to handle, maybe like a foot and a half or so, so you can handle it better. When it's really long, they start getting tangled up and sticking together. 
So shorter strips and you just like overlay the tapes together. just learned it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a built-in ladder, so he can do the top part. No problem. Built-in ladder. Built-in ladder. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll probably put some cardboard boxes up there. So just protect the top since we're not painting the top. But everything else, all the edges, Taped off, papered off. Okay, now about three hours later, we're all done with taping and covering and prepping. So let's take a look. Yeah, we taped the door kind of extreme because we realized we left the windows open, so we wanted to cover up all the seams, make sure the paint doesn't get in there. <laughs> Did not want to re redo it. So when you're doing it, try your best to make the seams all the way to the edge. So when you take the tape off, it's very crisp and straight lines. So we put paper in the areas where we want a little bit extra coverage. And then above we put some cardboard. I can't really see up there, but he said he put it up there. So it should be up there. And some cardboard on the ground to protect the floors. Now let's get to plasti dipping. Oh, by the way, we used about like one and a half rolls of blue, no, two and a half, two, yeah. two rolls of blue tape. Cause at first we didn't have the blue tape. So we used masking tape on this side, but if you have two, you should be pretty good. And I would think you do the similar kind of application for car plastic dipping. I know some people have done plastic dipping on their cars. So, okay, let's go. Yeah, We're about to spray it. Uh, before I actually spray it, I usually uh, like do a test spray on some just to make sure that the nozzle is not clogged. And then to make sure it's, there it goes. And then I start spraying. And I like to do it like a real light coat with Plasti Dip. And then a lot of people just throw it on there, but I like to do light coat multiple coats and it seems to be more uh, it doesn't um, uh, blemish as much I guess you, you can say
I just like to set up a, a base foundation, that way it'll just build on top of it. This is how the pros do it. Art school graduates right here. Okay, the first coat is on. You have to do it very lightly, so it kind of just looks like a little bit of like cloudy white on it. So even if you don't see like the white or whichever color you're doing on, don't overspray. Just do a very light coat. Some areas you may barely even see that it's on, but it is on, so. Okay, we have to do maybe like four coats, four or five coats, so, okay, we'll see how it goes. So Ralph found his little nozzle thing that he purchased before, and it's working so much better. When we were doing it with the little spray cam um, nozzle thing it was like hurting our hand because it's so small but it creased in splatter too now it's not splattering at all oh so i don't think this one was very much was it no it was only like a couple bucks yeah it's only a few bucks so it's something that you should definitely get if you're thinking about doing this okay we're four coats in it's starting to show a little bit of the white so it is definitely turning now but still seems like we probably need a few more coats we had to go out and get more plastic dip because originally we bought five cans but it kind of seems like it's going to take about 10. <laughs> So, we'll see. Painting is done. How many coats did we do? I think six. Six coats later. We're about to take off the tape. <laughs> yeah. want to run the edge of it with the blade lightly to kind of separate it from the tape and the plastic dip because as you can see right here sometimes it'll start pulling I didn't do such a good job right there but and then Peel it off. Like that. Tape is off. It's kind of dark oh. outside right now, so it's hard to see because we only have like a little bit of light in our garage but Let's see oh. white. so i would say plasti dipping is really your preference because there is some imperfections and irregularities and some blotchiness that's going on if you look carefully but we really don't mind because we expected that it wasn't going to be perfect and not sure if you can see in the video but you see there's a little bit of bumpiness going on it's kind of like here and here and there it's not all throughout but there are little bumps all um kind of in areas so 
Um, there are, I would say there are imperfections. So if you're very like particular and perfectionist kind of um, personality, maybe this is not the route, route for you. And, or maybe we just didn't do it right, you know? So this is our first time Plasti dipping something big like this. So um, take your own risk. It's our white on white. It looks good with our white forerunner. White on white. There might be some imperfections, but from this distance, it looks pretty good. So as I mentioned, there are some imperfections, some blotchiness and some little bit of bumpiness going on, but we were so, so, so happy that we're able to get the color to white to match our two vehicles at such a low cost. Um, this is not a perm permanent solution for us. We are planning to get it painted, but we wanted to test out the white on the camper to see if we really like it before painting. And I think it worked out great for that purpose. But we're going to use it until it messes up. We're going to see how long it holds up and then we'll give you an update. Thank you for watching. Please click the button and subscribe.